students welcome to yet another interesting video so in today's session we will be talking about zeros of a polynomial very interesting very important topic thing uh that's telegram channel i hope everybody has joined it but for the students who haven't joined it yet let me tell you so many things we share here session updates of course you get it revision questions homework questions interesting quizzes and yes session pdfs as well whatever sessions you see over here that we are doing their session pdfs would be shared over the telegram channel if you haven't joined it yet please join it the link is there in the description all right for now let's get started with our topic zeros of a polynomial so what is a zero of a polynomial actually so value or values of x at which the value of the polynomial becomes zero is or are called the zero of the polynomial what does that mean actually let's take an example to understand this let's suppose we have got a polynomial in x x plus 3 x x minus 5 so that value of x so that value of x which i substitute here and the value of this entire polynomial becomes zero i'll call that value the zero of this polynomial let's suppose if i substitute x over here as minus 3 or and x equals to 5 So if I put minus three, I replace x with minus three wherever I have got x. That's minus three plus three minus three minus five. That's going to be what? This is zero. Minus three minus five is going to be what? That's minus eight. Result is going to be zero only. So I can say that minus three is a zero of this polynomial, right? Similarly, similarly I can say that if I put five, so that's five plus three, five minus five. Five minus five is nothing. That's zero. Zero multiplied by anything is zero. So again, it is equal to zero. I can say that five is nothing, but that's the zero of this polynomial. So minus three and five, I can say that these are the zeros for the polynomial. That's how we find out the zeros. So here we talked about a general, right? A general polynomial. What is basically because this is one question which confuses a lot many students what is the what are the zeros of the zero polynomial then so every real number every real number is basically a zero of the zero polynomial so that means number of zeros for a zero polynomial are going to be infinite what does that mean let's take an example let's suppose i've got a polynomial in x right and the value as as i said i mean it's a zero polynomial so it is zero so zero can be written any way i can write it as 0 x square plus 0 x 4 plus dot 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 doesn't matter whatever i write with zero because at the end it's going to be zero only so whatever number i mean what by whatever real number i replace x with doesn't matter it still be it will still be zero only whether let's suppose if i put x over here as minus 1 by 3 does that make any difference to over here no because any number multiplied by is by zero will give you zero only so that's why we say that there are infinite number of zeros possible for a zero polynomial this is one conceptual question which is asked a lot many times in the paper also and as i said it confuses a lot of students moving to another interesting concept zeros of the constant polynomial here also maximum students get confused so a non zero constant polynomial has no zero non zero constant polynomial we know what constant polynomial is let's suppose i have got 10 i have got minus 10 i have got 25 right and non zero it doesn't have to be zero we are not talking about zero over here so let's suppose we have got a polynomial in x that is 5 it's a non zero zero is not there it's a constant polynomial so if i write x to the power 0 with it it doesn't make any difference to it right because something raised to power 0 is 1 right x to the power 0 is actually equals to 1 so 5 times 1 is basically 5 only right so here whether i put x as 2 that's going to be 5 times 2 to the power 0 again 2 to the power 0 is nothing but that's 1 so 5 times 1 is going to be 5 only so every time we get 5 only right that's why we say that a constant a non zero constant polynomial has no zero whatever you put here you get the same result every time so it has got no zero so these were very interesting and i would say uh these were the concepts where maximum times we get confused so i hope that now it's crystal clear to you if you have any confusions please leave your comments in the comment section below and try out this question um once you see the video so that you can check your understanding as well verify that 5 and 0 are zeros of the polynomial 5x square minus 25x is it true or false check this out and let us know our your answers in the comment section below and don't worry we have got you covered so many sessions we have planned for you from every monday to friday to make you exam ready and if you are liking our sessions please hit the like button share it in your school groups with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel because we do not want you to miss any new updates from us i'll see you soon thank you so much bye bye